Hi, Natalia. Just leaving a voice note, I also emailed you. My name's Shamay, J-A apostrophe M-I-E, from Australia, obviously, from the accent. <laughs> um, look, I saw you um, in Silver Lake doing your pottery wheel stuff um, a few weeks ago. Um, it was really hot. Um, sorry, <laughs> inappropriate. But um, anyway... I wanted to book in for some private lessons, um, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so if you can just get back to me sometimes, I'm pretty flexible. Um, and I wanted to know what to wear because um, you had on like the really cute short overalls. And I don't know, I just wanted to know like, do my legs need to be like really spread around the wheel? So like, I don't want to be too restricted, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and just like, do I moisturize my hands before the lesson and, you know, tie my hair back? Like, do I do like an Ariana Grande, like full tight, like high pony or maybe just like a low bun? Um, anyway, call me. Um, just need to answer those questions. So, yeah, I can't wait um, to get taught um, by you and really spin that wheel. Um, sorry. Um, anyway, call me. Bye. <laughs> This week on Jamazing in LA, getting papped in Silver Lake, becoming a hot ceramicist, Rose gets a stiffy, Trisha slacks off while doing my fashion school work, the capybara fur shawl, and did Olivia really tell Rose to fuck off? Your weekly dose of pottery advice, fashion and double life logistics from the West Hollywood whore, the clay slayer, she's forever 21. I'm Jamay, J-A apostrophe M-I-E. I'm Keish, I'm rich, I'm a bitch, and I'm Jamazing. Hi, Jamadiacs, it's your West Hollywood pottery porn star. Just home from fashion school in downtown LA. Oh my God, it's going so well. I've got to tell you guys all about it. Um, halfway through first time, I'm learning so fucking much. Oh my God. Um, I'm just loving the whole like fashion scene. Just like... You know, I just feel like I'm part of it. I feel like I found my niche. And Olivia Bellissimo is like, keeps pushing me to do like fashion school content, like TikToks and like videos around campus and stuff. Well, you know, like fit checks and be all iconic and stuff. So yeah, I've really got to lift my game with that. So um, last time we spoke, I got the shock text from Amber about her breakup with Claire Bear. Oh my God. So um, I'm playing it cool, but like, texting every day um, and it's been so good like having her back in my life like I've fully moved on from Amber I'm not like into her anymore it's just like nice to be there as a friend but yeah I don't see her that way anymore like I've been masturbating um over pics of her um but that's just an old habit like just using Hannah Gowanus paw and picturing scissoring Amber but yeah it gets me there, sorry. Um, it means nothing. Um, so yeah, fashion school has been so fun. Oh my God. So I'm working on my capsule collection for the assignment. So you've got to design six pieces, like original things from scratch. Um, and you've got to show like the process of design and like sourcing all the materials. And um, and then you've got to make the pieces, which is like, oh my God, for me. So, but Prisha um, is so good at it. And She's really good at using this, like, um, it's called Clo 3D, um, like this design software thing. And she knows how to use it. And she's a really great designer. So I'm kind of relying on her. Um, she's not, like, doing the work for me, but she's assisting me, like, in a major way. Um, like, I'll throw out ideas and she kind of takes the lead um, with my collection. Um, and she's doing her own as well. I give her a bit of time off to do her own too. So it's not like... It's not exploitation. It's kind of more like, hey, babe, you know. Um, do you know what I mean? It's like, and she's really good at sewing too. And so I'll probably get her to like make my stuff too on the sly. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of paying her back via my friendship and like raising her social status. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Like I tried hitting on her, like um, fully flirting with her. And um, she just seemed all confused and not into it. But yeah, that's usually how I get my way. But yeah. I don't know, she's just a cool chick and she wants to help and she's kind of like fun. She's sort of growing on me. Um, Oh my God, she was pissed off for about 24 hours about the whole like pretending she was my cleaner thing. Um, But when I explained to her like who Olivia was and like showed her like her follower numbers and everything and she kind of got it and she was, you know, she knows she's like 
a few rungs up the ladder from her. So, yeah, she was willing to take one for the team. Um, speaking of Olivia, so um, we've been hanging out heaps since she got here. She's been coming over to Reeks and, like, chilling out. And we've done a few, like, poolside photo shoots. Um, and she yelled at Rosé to fuck off um, when he came over to offer a towel and when we were, like, laying out by the pool. Um which I kind of get. He's like, he's a bit of a pervert. And she's a guest of the Castello Three Coast. So, you know, what she says goes. Um, oh my God, she still really hates my pottery wheel tour and she's being such a fucking bitch about it. She put Hannah Goanna on it and she spun it really fast and like it flew off. Um, like Hannah flew off and like hit the spiral staircase. Um, and she was just laughing and I was like grabbing Hannah to see if she was okay, but like kind of fake laughing because I wanted Olivia to think it was like, funny but I was like crying on the inside um oh so the other day me and Olivia went to the pussy palace to chill with everyone oh my god and like take pics and like shoot some content around the pool um it was so much fun oh my god I can't believe I'm like legit hanging out there now um and I took a bag of coke um with me that Rosé had sold me um and Olivia like fully calls me out in front of everyone and she's like where did you get that and I go, um, from the gardener, from my building. And all the girls start laughing. And Olivia goes, there's no way I'm touching that. We only do the good stuff. So I had to, like, put it away. It was so embarrassing. It was, like, fully humiliated Bobby Brown. Um, and then Olivia brings up my pottery wheel in front of the girls and, like, tells all the girls. And she's kind of, like, making fun of me. Um, like, I haven't even posted any content yet with me using it um, because... I don't really know how to use it and I've got to have the lesson. Um, but I fully want to. Like, I want to get, like, the hot white overalls and, like, um, you know, work on my look or, I don't know, just shoveled hair and, like, do the splatters on the face thing. And i got to work on it. Um, anyway, so Olivia goes to the other girls, hey, Jemay, can we come over for a clay and sip class and make boob mugs? And all the girls, like, crack up laughing, like, fully bagging me. Um, and she was calling me Harry Potter. Um, and I was saying to everyone how I'm going to be a ceramicist. And they were, like, everyone lost it, like, bagging me for calling myself a ceramicist. Um, I just went, like, really red in the face. and But I kind of just acted like I thought it was, like, funny too and just joined in the laughter. And Olivia's all like, hey, ceramicist, can you whip me up a pinch pot? And I was doing, like, this fake crack up laughing, like, but inside I'm, like, dying. Olivia's such a fucking bitch sometimes, but, you know, so am I, so I kind of get it. Um, wait, I just got an email. What the fuck is... Th- oh, it's my designs from Prisha. About time. I'm um, just going to open those. Oh, my God, what? She's only finished three. I have to have all six ready by next week. Fuck. She's going to have to work on the weekend. Uh, I'll reply to that later, Jemaniacs. Um... Fucking hell, she better not make me fail. Um, anyway, Shemaniacs, that's kind of like the highlight updates um, from your gal's week. Still kind of like living my double life with um, Prisha and Olivia being like from my opposite worlds. And, you know, TBH, I'm kind of like more into Prisha, if I'm honest. Like she's kind of a major dog, but like at least she's kind of genuine, not like a fucking bitch. And she's like you know, really into, like, the fashion studies and stuff. Olivia's kind of, like, shallow and a bitch. But, you know, she's hot and she has a lot of followers, so she kind of, like, trumps pressure, but I don't know. It's like if I could blend the good qualities of both girls, it would make, like, the perfect friend. I don't know. Why is everything so fucking complicated? Anyway, um, more later. Jemaniacs, Ask Jemay is coming up next. Bye. <laughs> So I took your advice from last season and got my own sugar grams. Uh, But the problem is now he wants to be official. He wants to take pictures of us and for me to put them on my Instagram, my Facebook. He wants to meet my parents. He wants to meet my whole family. And he's even talked about getting engaged and having kids later on. But he already has a kid and the kid's like my age. So I just wanted your advice basically on how to keep our relationship a secret love you stay quiche love you too um okay there's a lot to cover here um 
Firstly, congrats on your sugar gramps. Um, for those that don't know, that's an older, um, sometimes extremely older um, man who's cashed up um, with sugar, as they say, um, and you're using him for some financial support along the way and then, you know, ultimate payday when he pops off. Um, so, yeah, it sounds like you've nabbed a silver fox uh, with a very fat wallet. Um, good on you. So... Um, if you're not ready to go public, that's tricky. Um, I've been there. You want to keep it a secret. Um, so with the older guys I've dated, I've always gone for um, a long lost grandpa storyline um, for people that I don't want to like reveal the truth to. Um, you know, you say he walked out when dad was a kid and he's finally reemerged into your life and you're enjoying like catching up on lost times. Um And you've become, like, really close, like, to justify, like, holding hands and, like, the little kisses and stuff. Bum grabs are tricky in public, but um, just tell them to take it easy in public to save that for the home. Um, Often you don't want your sugar gramps to know um, that you're keeping them secret on on the down low. So, um, yeah, it can be a sensitive issue. Um, Just a gentle push away of the hand if they go for the bum cheek um, in public. That's what I usually do. Um, So... You can also simply just walk 10 metres in front um, when you're in public and just, you know, they're usually slower, so that's not hard to achieve. Just, you know, pick up the pace. And and you can either act like um, he's a stranger, so um, when he tries to talk to you, just, like, be like, who are you? Um, or you can act like an annoyed, like, teenager, just, like, and people assume it's your dad. Um, lots of sighs and eye rolls and, you know, like, shut up you know, typical dad-child stuff and you'll have everyone fooled. Now, you've mentioned taking him to meet your parents. So, yeah, this poses a whole lot of other issues, obviously. Um, You can't do the grandpa-dad thing. So you can try saying, um, and I've done this, where you say he's your boss from work and um, you have to, like, suck up to him and he's trying to do, like, a get-to-know-you um kind of get to know the staff thing where he visits the house um that can work I was dating this seven-year-old guy um when I was working at Domino's Pizza brief stint um in the Domino industry I don't don't think I told you guys but um yeah and I introduced him to my mum and dad as like the franchise owner of Domino's um yeah he was really confused when I said it yeah, I was still at school at the time, so I had to be really on the down low and we broke up. Don't worry, nothing went down. Um, so, yeah, um, pulling the wool over mum and dad's eyes is tricky when you introduce the sugar gramps. Um, you could try popping a mask on him, like a, you know, like a ghost face mask from Scream or like a Yoda or something and say you're heading out to like a fancy dress party and you just want to say quickly hi to mum and dad and just get him to keep it on um the sleeping over thing um in the same bed that gets tricky when you're trying to say he's your boss um you could just like thinking out loud here you could say he's a security guard um because you've become like really huge on tiktok and you need security at all times in bed especially um that could work yeah i had um an old guy boyfriend, a sugar gramps, um, stay over once. Um, and he got up in the middle of the night naked actually. And, um, he asked mom if she had any my lanta, um, which she could borrow. She was cool with that. She had some, she sorted him out and dad gave him some Viagra too. Um, which worked amazingly well, by the way. Um, look, it's a tricky one. Um, the sugar gramps issue and keeping the secret, they do come with their issues. It's worth it for the cash, obviously. Um, I suggest lying is the best policy because parents always try to ruin it. They don't love an age gap. Um, So, yeah, good luck with it, mate. Let me know in the DMs how it all goes and send me, um, you know, some nudes of the sugar cramps maybe. I don't know why I would want to see that, but, you know, I'm up for anything these days. Illy. Hi, Germaniac Arenos. So I've had a fucking huge day. I'm back at Reeks. Just had a shower because um, I was covered in clay because I've been using my pottery wheel because I had my lesson today in Silver Lake. Um, 
and I was trying out some of my new skills. So um, basically I decided to defy Olivia and I went back to Silver Lake on my own um, to see um, the pottery girl that I met the other day um, a few weeks ago um, for the private class. Um, do you remember when I first saw that hot girl in the garage? Um, and her name is Natalia and she does these private lessons. Um, so I went over incognito for my lesson. I didn't tell anyone. Um And I wore my really big oversized hoodie um, with the like, with the hood like pulled right over my face. So like no one's going to recognize me. It's the same one that I wear to um, the student accommodation when I go to see Prisha. Um, I just didn't want word getting back to Olivia. um, Um, And I had my little white overalls on underneath that I bought um, with no top. Um, I'm going to do it braless. Um for TikTok, um, the video once I've set up my account. Um, but I thought it was a little weird in front of Natalia. So I wore like a little lacy bra, but, um, yeah, but you know, she can see it from the sides, but, um, oh my God, it was so much fun. We got like straight into it. It was just like slamming down the clay. Like she was showing me how to like throw the clay onto the wheel, like all the methods of like how you like have your hands in this like water and then you like apply pressure with um, your hands as it's moving. And we're trying to make a pot, but I kept making this kind of like cone dick shape um, thing that was just like wobbling around heaps and then breaking. And um, I haven't seen a dick in ages. So I was like, oh, that's right. Um, but yeah, it felt so good just like running my wet hands like up and down like the sausage of clay and it was so hot, she maniacs. Um, Natalia was getting it all splattered on her face and stuff because she had her legs like spread around the wheel on the other side and um, she was like pressing up against it and sometimes she'd like come around and lean over um, my wheel and like grab onto my hands and just like show me how to do it. Like we were like squeezing the clay together with our hands and like lifting it up and like running our fingers through like, you know, along the rim um, of the pot. And yeah, I almost fully orgasmed at one stage too. And I'm really loud when I do. So that would have been orkies. Um, But yeah, I made like a basic pot, um, but I learned so much. My God. And I came back all like messy in my overalls and, um, and then I was so keen to practice straight away. So I took all my pottery wheel gear out to the pool at Reeks and just set it up. I got Rosé to help me like, wheel it all out um and there's a few people around the pool looking and being weirdos but like I didn't care I was just getting into it and I was thinking the pool could be a good like backdrop um for my content videos once I get like really good um so I'm in my overalls by the pool with like no bra this time um so I had like really obvious side boob and like I'm making this dick cone shaped clay thing um and just wetting it and then like squishing it down like pulling it up again and um and then like whenever I'd get to the tip the wet clay would like splatter on my face like all over my mouth and Rose asked if he could watch um cuz he was on a break from gardening um so he pulled up a deck chair and just like you know took it all in. Um, he was on a smoke break and, um, so he wasn't going to get busted by his boss. So yeah, he just lit up a ciggy and watched me and, and my legs like spread around the wheel and, and oh my God, I could see that Rose got a stiffy watching me. I kind of knew he would. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to adjust it. Um, and then a few other men, um, from around the pool, like residents, like daddy kind of guys just like gathered around to watch. Um, and they all seem like really into it and kind of like aroused. And I'm like, this is like obviously working. Like imagine when I actually do this online, um, for content. Um, I don't even know how to get away with it without Olivia finding out that's going to be tricky. I was thinking I could set up like a new TikTok and try and like be a bit like stealth and call it like hot ceramicist 69 or something or I don't know I kind of want to just like have it on my main account because I've got so many followers I don't know maybe this is just going to be my new identity and my new thing um wait one sec I'm just getting a text oh my god her ears were burning it's from Olivia what the hell it's a photo is this you (gasps) oh my god no fucking way (gasps) What? It's a photo of Elle Fanning in the Daily Mail. It's a paparazzi shot of her in Silver Lake today. And I'm in the background of the photo in my overalls, stepping out of the pottery studio. Oh my God, Olivia's circled me. (gasps) Fuck my life. 
oh my God, she must have just like spotted me in the background. The caption says, Elle Fanning emerged from a restaurant in LA's trendy Silver Lake neighborhood. I didn't even see her. Oh my God, she was in right in front of me. Oh my God, and I'm so obviously stepping out of the pottery studio in my overalls. And I've got clay on my face. Oh my God, you can clearly see the sign above my head. I should have worn the hoodie when I stepped out. Oh my God. Wait, Olivia's typing. Please explain. Oh, fuck you, maniacs. What am I going to do? She's such a fucking bitch and now she knows I'm trying to be a clay slut. Fuck my life. So just got back from the Grove. I went with Prisha. Um, we just want to get some inspo, looking at clothes. And um, our capture collections are like taking shape. And I wanted to just like make sure Prisha was across all the latest styles. And so she's fully equipped when she's designing mine. Um, oh, I haven't even told you guys about my collection um, for fashion school. So... Um, what I'm telling Prisha is I'm going for a kind of like a stealth wealth, like kind of a quiet luxury vibe with with like a Jamae twist. So um, not so much neutrals and like a gentle palette. It's more like a glitzy, um, kind of glitzy animal skins. Um, I'm not using real ones, calm down. Um, just like, you know, like a zebra print, like a faux fur with like a tinsel sparkle fleck in like a micro short or something. Um Kind of like a rich safari vibe, um, sort of plantation-y. Um, I don't know, things like I'm thinking like a capybara fur shawl with like, you know, understated luxury vibes, maybe with the ears of the capybara just like um, still there, the eyes um, still on the shawl, um, just sitting on the breast area. Fake eyes, obviously. I'm not, not going to use real ones. I did look into that, but it's expensive, but... You know, just like a Cabbage Patch doll eye or something like that. So, yeah, um, that's what I've got Pritchard working with so far. That's kind of – I've given her, like, a few – that just came off the top of my head, so she just took notes. Um, Yeah, so we just wanted to check out Forever 21 and, like, Banana Republic to make sure we're capturing, like, that demographic too. Um, It's got to be, like, commercially viable. Um, It's a lot of research. So, yeah, a lot of fun, though. Um. We went to the farmer's markets and I pigged out on a burrito and Prisha didn't eat because um, she forgot her wallet and she doesn't have any cards on her phone. So she who forgets stuffs, um, I always say. Um, I caught her eyeing off my burrito, um, but I hate sharing food, so suzzies. Um, And we wandered around the shops um, and saw the little squirty fountain with the little jizzy squirts and... I made Prisha take pics of me in front of it with my mouth open. (laughs) Um, And then the shit fucking hit the fan because... So I haven't told you guys, but I posted my first ever pottery video this morning. Um, Hot Ceramus is 69. She's at it. Um, It's just me doing like a beginner's tutorial type thing. And me and Rose set the gear up by the pool again. And I just went to town and... um, yeah, I need to get another pair of overalls um, while these ones are in the wash so I can be, you know, overlap. Um, I'm kind of thinking less is more too and maybe I do like a little, like a jean short with just like a little bralette. Um, so there's a lot more skin showing. Um, anyway, so I posted the video on my gram and it went off. So much engagement. I kind of had a good feeling about it. Like even Amber loved it and she hardly ever comments on my stuff. She must have unmuted. Um, Anyway, so that's gone up. And so there I am at the Grove and I'm standing outside Forever 21 with Prisha. And guess who I fucking see? Olivia and some of the fucking girls from the Pussy Palace. And the second I saw them, I shoved Prisha into Forever 21 and I told her to like hide behind like a rack of clothes. Um, And then I text her when the coast was clear to come out um, because I didn't want to be seen with her so um the girls came over and olivia's all like why are you hanging out with your cleaner and i said i was buying like cleaning products and i had like really specific ones that i wanted to get um and she was all sus and um anyway but prisha stayed behind the rack in the store so it was all okay um i could just see her in the corner of my eye um 
And anyway, so the girls start like joking about my pottery video because they've all seen it and they're like bagging me and like laughing about my overalls and calling me like Harry Potter and saying how lame it was that I was calling myself the hot ceramicist, Um, like fully getting stuck into me and laughing like so much. And I'm like kind of joining in, like fake laughing my head off, like my mouth was like so wide and I'm kind of like bagging myself too and like like, I'm crying on the inside but going, oh my God, you're a fucking loser, (laughs) Jemay. No one's ever going to watch that. But secretly I'm like, um, what am I even saying? Um, it's really hard being a fake bitch because you're always like, what's real and what's fake? Um, anyway, the girls tell me to go home and like freshen up and wear something like decent because um, they want to go to Soho House tonight, which I've been dying to go to because there's heaps like celebrities there and it's like everything. Um, so I'm home now getting changed for that. Just want to check in with you guys and tell you what happened. Um, so it's like walk off from the girls at the Grove and like pretend I was getting in a lift. And then I went up one floor and then I came back down again. Um, cause I had to go rescue Prisha. She was literally like crouching down beside a seashell necklace stand, kind of shaking, like so scared. And I could sense she was kind of like locking in a core memory. Um, so yeah, we walked home. Um, me and Prisha and workshopped um, like what I was going to wear tonight for Soho House with her. Like she had some good ideas, um, which I scrapped. I, yeah, I went with my own ideas. Um, I actually shouldn't go out tonight because like I've got heaps of like fashion school work to do. Um, but I might just get Prisha to do it for me. Like as a joke, I threatened um, to post the video of her doing the hair swish um, dance from the frat party and she freaked out and was like crying, saying like her father would never speak to her again and how it was blackmail and um, I was like, settle pedal, it's a joke. Um, but like, can you please do the work for me because I'm going to saw her house. And she's all like, um, yeah, I suppose, um, storms off, but you know, I know she loves it. Um, but yeah, so heading out, um, with the girls tonight, I can't wait to like mingle with like LA high society. And, um, it's like a members club and it's like really exclusive. So, um, yeah, you got to pay heaps or be like a guest of a member. So yeah, celebrities love going there. Um, I saw a pic of Zendaya leaving, um, the other day. So that would be everything to bother to her. Oh my God. I'd be sucking up so hard. Um, Wait a sec, I just got a text. Who the hell is this? Prisha. What the hell does the Prish dog want? We were just talking. She should be doing my homework by now. Hi, Jemay. I felt really hurt when you told me to hide in a clothing rack in Forever 21 today so your cool friends wouldn't see me. I thought we were friends and you liked me. I'm not sure I want to be your friend anymore. Oh, my God. If you want to apologize, I'm willing to reconsider, but not until then. Also, I won't be doing your homework tonight. Prisha, fuck my life. Oh my God. Is this bitch on a period or what? I better go, Germaniacs. I have to get ready and like sort out the fucking Prish dog. I'm going to do some damage control. Oh my God, I can't be bothered calling her. Um, I'll let you know what happens next week. Illy Shamaniacs, no hurricane. Stay quiche. Bye bye.